February is a celebration of Black History Month. In Montgomery, Alabama, people from all over the country have the chance to take a full tour of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s home from front to back. One significant piece of history that everyone gets to see face to face is the bombing that took place while King was living in his home. Many people are shocked when they find out that there is still an indention in the front porch where the bomb detonated. Here right beside me is the home of Dr. Martin Luther King from 1954 until 1960. King was at Ralph Missionary Baptist Church when he got the phone call that his house had been bombed with his wife and children inside. Reverend King was downtown at a meeting and his wife was at home with their young baby Yolanda and the wife of a deacon of the church, Mary Lucy Williams was her name. Reverend King did not want her to be home alone because uh, he had begun to receive threats on his life as well as his family's life. They were in the front room of the home where they heard a noise on the porch. They immediately went to the back bedroom and the bomb went off. While in the home, visitors get to see King's bedrooms, bathrooms, and more. Muhammad tells us that most tourists have a favorite part of the house. The kitchen the kitchen because that is where Reverend King experienced his epiphany where he heard God speak to him and tell him be not afraid and to go forward with his work in the civil rights movement. The many tours that are given daily Muhammad tells us whether far or near mostly all who visit King's home leave feeling more uplifted than when they entered the home. They are very humbled they seem to connect with the home. I think the home has a piece about it and they seem to connect with that and identify with that. They are very surprised to see that we have so many authentic items in the home that were used by Reverend and Mrs. King.